Hey there, fellow hungry travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in Cusco, Peru. We're going to talk about Peruvian food and what you should eat when you are here in Peru. I kind of got inspired because I saw the Salchi Papa's place over there, which is one of the snacks you might have when you're here, which is just basically hot dogs and french fries fried together. Just one of those little treats you have when you're having a, a beer here, and the beer is pretty good. But anyway, let's get into what you're going to eat when you are here. Something you should know. Potatoes and rice do play a really important role in Peruvian cuisine. So you will have rice and potatoes some, a lot of times together uh, in many dishes. So just be prepared for that. So if you're trying to go low carb, this maybe isn't the country for you. Okay, so let's get to some of the good stuff you're going to have. Probably the most popular dish you're going to have, one you don't really eat here in a place like Cusco, you want to eat it more on the coast, is ceviche. Ceviche is like fish and it'll have shellfish and prawns and stuff like that in a lime sauce, a lime juice with some onions and some chili peppers in there. And it's just it's a really refreshing cold dish you'll have. It's a very popular dish. You might have the pescado one, which is just with fish, or the misto, which has fish and shellfish and stuff in there, but it's definitely a must have. So ceviche, you're good to go with that one. Other things you look at in terms of seafood variety stuff, you might have a like fry, a mix of fried fish and fried squid and, and lagostinos and stuff like that together. That's a really popular thing near the coast to have like as a sharing kind of dish. Also up in the mountains and all around the country, really the probably the best fish to have is trucha, which is trout because you're in the mountains, that's where they live. And it's really, really good when you are here. Uh, some of the meats you're going to have here, look, they really do like, there's a lot of pork, there's a lot of chicken, you have beef and stuff like that. But probably the most famous meat you've probably heard of about from Peru is cuy. Cuy is guinea pig. Yes, I said guinea pig. You know that little pet you have, the mascota <laughs> that you have in your kid's school? Yes, the guinea pig is a very traditional dish here in Peru, and you will see it a lot of places. Two main ways it gets cooked. Once it's fried, okay, they, they take the skin off and the fur, well, the fur off and stuff like that, and they fry it. And yes, it sometimes will come with its head on there. Other times I had cuy, uh, chutado, I think it was a chutado. Uh, I'll put it down there how it's really spelled in Arequipa, and they had quartered it for us, so it didn't have the head. So that was nice. But I do remember the first time I did have cuy guinea pig here in Peru. I was here in Cusco many years ago and they brought it to me and it was grilled and it was on a spit and they served it to me spread eagle. I was like, oh my goodness. But yes, there is guinea pig you can have when you're here. It's not for everyone. It tastes kind of like a combination of pork and, and dark meat turkey, if you're wondering what it tastes like. Um, now, if you want to get some more normal stuff, <laughs> what I do recommend is actually having alpaca. It's uh, the you know, alpacas, you'll see all the people with all the nice wool and stuff you want to buy when you're here. That's made out of alpaca wool and you can eat alpaca and actually is really good. Alpaca steaks are fantastic. My two little kids, they loved it. I mean, they will literally eat a whole alpaca steak and then ask for more steak. I mean, it is that good. There's lots of different things. They might put some sauces on there and things like that, but that, that's really nice. Other things you might look at in terms of meat, you have lomo satado, which is beef, um, kind of sauteed and cooked in soy sauce, served with rice and potatoes and stuff like that. It's a really traditional dish you'll have throughout the country. It's always good. That's kind of like my go-to if I'm not sure for what I, what I want to have. Um, if you're looking at pork dishes, there's a lot of different pork ones out there. A popular one you'll see is on the English menu, it'll be called fried ribs. It's called chicharrones. And chicharrones is really, really good. Like We went to our friend's house in Arequipa and they cooked it up for us. It's like a big family thing and it's really good. Um, that's the thing. And honestly, in Peru, the food is fantastic. I've been traveling around the world for a while now and I've been seeing Peruvian restaurants pop up everywhere become kind of a really popular style of food and when you come to Peru and you eat it here you understand why because the food is great. Other things you might look at is beef hearts are actually pretty good here. It's not the whole heart. They chop it up and serve it, serve it on a little skewer. That's good. Taku taku. Uh, remember, they're, they're, you know, if you're in Latin America, there's a lot of rice and beans. This one is actually they put the rice and beans kind of fried together. And sometimes you have with a seafood sauce on top. I had that in Lima. Oh my God, it was so good. That's another traditional dish you might look out for. And the thing is, if you go around the country, there will be dishes that are very regional that are on other places, but they're better in certain areas. Like a chupi de camarones or a... Uh, a shrimp stew that is really really good it's really famous in Arequipa and so that's good there but it's good all over the country another thing I really enjoyed is rocoto relleno which is a uh, stuffed red pepper, but it's not a red pepper like we have in the U.S. It's a, a little bit spicier red pepper. That's really good. Also from Arequipa. Um, and the thing is, is, the food here really is good no matter what kind of food you do have. There's all kinds of different things. Chicken, if you want something just just nice and easy, a nice chicken dish that I really enjoy that has a little bit of spice, there's ají de galinha, which is like chicken and pepper and a cream sauce served with rice. And there's potatoes in there too. Of course, we're in Peru. It's rice and potatoes. You got to have them, okay? So there's that. 
or for the very simple there's pollo a la brasa which is just a grilled chicken a roast a rotisserie chicken which is really good my dad has gone for that one when he's tired of experimenting with new foods there's all kinds of really good foods out here and sometimes if you don't want to if you want to stay away from the meat you want something more fresh there's tons and tons of fruit that are here and they are really good and there's fruits you've never even heard of and a lot of times when you have your fruits you're going to have it as a, a hugo a juice okay so if you go to the mercados the markets there'll be a whole line of juices juice ladies there you go up and say i want this fruit and this fruit and this fruit together they'll make it with you um you do want to be careful because you do not want to drink the water when you are in Peru. Um, you want to stick with bottled water. So if you're going to have those, have them make it with orange juice or, or milk um, to kind of, you know, just in case we're with the water issue here. Um, other things you might want to drink when you're here. Oh my God, how can I forget? Inca Cola. That is the biggest drink here. My kids love it. My youngest one wakes up in the morning asking for Inca Cola. That's how much he likes it. No iPad. No, I want to see mama. No, no, no breakfast. I want Inca Cola. Uh, it tastes like bubble gum. Okay. It's yellow, but tastes like bubble gum. You want to have that when you're here. Uh, the beers here, uh, Cusque, Cusqueña, which is the beer from Cusco, Arequipeña, which is from Arequipo. All the local beers I've had around here have actually been pretty good. They're a little bit lighter, like a light beer in the U.S., but they are really good. She'll be okay with local beer here. No need to buy international beer. The Peruvian beer is good. They've got um, you know craft breweries here too, so you'll drink very well. But probably the most important, um, I guess, liquor you're gonna have is Pisco. That's their local alcohol here. It's made from grapes. Um, it is really good, but you usually have with like a pisco sour, which is pisco and lime juice and a, well, traditionally it's a egg white uh, in there as well. And it all mixed together with some other stuff and sugar and stuff like that. It is fantastic. And a lot of the restaurants will offer you one for free sometimes and things like that. But a lot of drinks mixed with, mixed with pisco, maybe with Sprite or ginger ale is also very popular. And with that Pisco, you gotta realize is there's tons of really good cocktails here in, in Peru. So do look on the menu and try, yes, your Pisco Sour. Do experiment more than just the Pisco Sour. Have a lot of the different cocktails because they are really good. We've been experimenting them and I know I should go back to a Pisco Sour again, but they're all so good you wanna try a lot more. Other things, I guess you wanna know is if you, you know, like I'm more of a meat person, but sometimes you wanna go for something lighter. Like I said, the fruits that are out there. There's also salads. One is Soltero de Queso. And Soltero de Queso is like, everything's cubed up so there's onions there's tomatoes there's some uh cornish like, thing, like beans in there um there's also cheese in there it's a really nice refreshing thing to have also you'll see a lot of avocado my wife's had avocado and shrimp and avocado and whatever and whatever salad quite a few times that's been very good as well so you you can actually eat healthy here too it's not just the things here the one thing you should know is when you are here the big meal of the day is lunchtime, and lunch is usually at two here so that's the more busy time out here here. Uh, so you have like a small breakfast and a small dinner and then the lunch is the big time here but if you're gonna be doing a lot of these tours here in Peru you might want to have a big lunch because you'll do a lot of stuff during the day now in terms of desserts you have the suspiro a la limeña I know I can't say very well it's basically like I don't know it's like a cream catalan but like uh, dulce de leche kind of stuff with some cream on top of it I mean it's really good it's like I don't know it's like a sugary evaporated milk mixture of stuff it comes with different flavors but it's really really good definitely try that one uh dessert when you are here also they have queso helado cheese ice cream which is a local ice cream that's made here the ice cream's good my kids have enjoyed it they ask for it every day and so does my dad so it can't be all bad if you got two little kids and one old kid <laughs> ask it for it so that it's good um but there is a lot of good things here would you have other thing you might want to know is you might see a lot of places will offer you tea here coca tea coca tea is made out of coca leaves which is what they make cocaine out of so it's a slight stimulant it helps you a lot here in the high altitudes because altitude sickness is a real issue here but you have the tea five or six cups a day it's a stimulant so if you take it at night you won't sleep but it does help with the altitude here it actually does taste pretty good too and they have it in their candies sometimes as well and gum and stuff like that but don't take it back to the u.s or europe because it's illegal over there so be careful with that another simple dish you might see is called causa and causa is like potatoes and avocado and tomatoes and and some tuna fish put together it's another one of those like kind of fresher dishes if you're feeling weighed down by your alpaca and your great food and your steaks and and fish and everything so that's another nice little thing to have so last little thing about going out to eat here in peru you do tip about 10 percent on top of your bill sometimes if you're paying with a credit card you might be able to write it in other times you might have to run your credit card twice what i usually do is i just do the credit card normally and then i tip in soles in the local currency uh it's about you tip about 10 percent here for those things for the service
service, so you do have that there. Anyway, I hope this video didn't make you too hungry, because honestly, the Peruvian food is excellent. You will really eat well here, well, and everyone has really loved the food, and it is just a really great eating experience when you are here. So if you want to learn more about visiting Peru, though, you know, 10 things that'll shock you about Peru, what you don't do when you're in Peru, five things you love and hate about Cusco and stuff like that, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those social medias. And if you like our videos and you like travel videos like this, click that subscribe button. Hold on, click that subscribe button. Just go click that subscribe button and you'll get videos like this every Wednesday and Saturday from all over the world. We go to Latin America, Europe, with Asia a few times. We're expanding more places more. So got a place you want us to go, put that down there in the comment section as well. Anyway, if there's other dishes we forgot, because there's a lot more than we got to mention here, put those Peruvian dishes down below and let's all enjoy. So have a great meal here in Peru. I know you will because the food is fantastic. Bye from Cusco.